Hello everybody, it's great to be with you today. My name is Jim Tuziant and I'm really excited to talk to you about a new project that I'm working on which I think uh, over the next several months I would really love your comments, thoughts and feedback. I think it's uh, something I'm very excited about and I think something that uh, you're not only going to be excited about but hopefully get a lot of benefit from. The project is called Positive Talk and uh, while I'm not going to go into too much detail on it now, uh, I do want to sort of set the stage by sort of giving you some background as to why I'm uh, working on this project. I've spent the last 30 years starting and building companies uh, because not only it's been fun and exciting for me, but uh, I've always really tried to figure out ways to add real value in people's lives. And as I look around in today's society and the world we live in today, um, I think, and hopefully you would agree, that the world has become a very complex, difficult place, a challenging place to live, a challenging place to work. Um, and so I sort of think, what is it that we can do, both individually and collectively, to, to change the direction of ourselves and of our communities, of our families, and, and frankly, of society in general? So the Project Positive Talk was really born from the idea of the simple concept that there's an enormous power in the words that we use, the words that we think about, the words that we communicate with others, um, and like with many things in life, there's really a spectrum from extremely positive words and phrases to very negative words and phrases. And unfortunately, I think we're in a society today where so much of what we hear, so much of what we read, so much of what we communicate to our friends, our family, our business colleagues, unfortunately it's very, very negative. You know, words are powerful tools that have been used throughout history by great leaders to communicate important ideas, thoughts, and beliefs. And those thoughts, ideas, and beliefs ultimately translate into feelings. And at the end of the day, we are vibrational beings. Everything around us is energy in the form of vibration, whether it's beautiful sunshine or water flowing or even our voices or the music we listen to. Um, and so understanding the importance of the words that we use and how to better both understand how we're communicating uh, and the nature of our communication is increasingly important. And in order to transform our lives and the lives of those we care about, we really have to start to change the way that we communicate. And so when you think about your use of words, you know, I would ask you this question. How positive are you most of the time in terms of the way that you talk to yourself, what's called self-talk, or the way you talk to others? How positive are you when you talk generally to your children or to your family members or to the people that you work with or to your neighbors? Many of us, I think, are aware of the power of words, but really we don't focus on it day to day. And up until this point, there's really never been a technology or a means to measure consistently um, how we communicate with ourselves and with others. And, and that's one of the things that I'm really focused on trying to achieve with positive talk. When I talk about the power of words, a single word can change your life. A single word, positive or negative, can change the lives of people you care about. And words are a form of vibration. As with everything else in life, everything else in nature, what we say resonates and it affects our body in both conscious ways and subconscious ways. It's funny, there's been some interesting research done, uh, and I'm going to talk about just two of them briefly. Uh, one of them by Japanese researchers led by a Dr. Emoto, who has studied the impact of positive or negative words on water. And you would say, well, why is this important? Well, water is the essence of life. Most of your body is composed of water. Something like three quarters of our body is water. And even more of our brain, something like 90% of our brain cells are consisting of water. You can live for 20 to 30 days without food. Uh, you can live really for only a few minutes without air. And you really can live only for a day or two without water. Water is absolutely critical for every form of life that we know about. And just as every other form of vibration and energy, water actually has not only a structure to it, uh, both in liquid form and gaseous form and in solid form, but it's impacted by its surroundings, including 
words that are used uh, on water, believe it or not. So Dr. Moto has been studying this for uh, a number of years, and in essence his, his tests involve communicating to different types of water that he has found, typically in liquid form, and testing the crystal structure, whether when frozen, whether that water forms beautiful, well-structured, uh, well-organized crystals, or whether they form no crystals at all, or sort of what I'll call murky crystals that are sort of not really fully developed. And it's amazing, and I would encourage you to look online uh, at some of his work, including some of his books. Uh, in fact, I brought one of his books uh, with me here today, uh, Masuro Emoto. This one is called Love Thyself, and you can see in the front cover, uh, and I'll put it a little closer so you can see it, uh, an example of a beautifully formed frozen water crystal that was the result of very positive word being uh, said onto the water in liquid form that then when frozen form these beautiful crystals. And I won't spend more time on this, but interesting research, well worth looking into, and very, very provocative. Uh, another example of some research that was done recently by a very well-known uh, personal development author coach named Doreen Virtue was this idea, was this book called Angel Words. And in it, what she and her son did was to really look at the uh, frequency changes, the vibrational frequency of words impacting uh, the vibra vibrational frequency. And in essence, again, testing a whole series of negative words and a whole series of positive words, you see very dramatic differences in both the magnitude and amplitude and frequency um, based on whether the words that were communicated were positive or negative. So I'm going to leave you with that at this point today, but again, I'm excited to be with you, and my goal is to really get your feedback, get your thoughts, get your ideas of things that you'd like to learn more about. So as I develop this concept called Positive Talk, uh, which is an online social media mobile app that I think as we develop it out over the next several months, I would love to... Uh, over time get your feedback and also encourage you to um, try it when we release an alpha version of this and a beta version of this because I really do believe our world needs some dramatic changes. Um, we all as individuals need to really change the way we think and the way we communicate with our friends and family and I'm excited to be able to work with you and get your feedback to achieve this goal uh, through positive talk. Thank you very much.